Hi guys, how are you feeling today? Excited about learning some more grammar? Yay, that's the spirit. So, the main course on the menu today is conditional sentences. Let's kick off. Well, what we're doing today is brushing up on what you already know about conditional sentences, their structure and when to use them, as usual by means of many examples. As you already know, there are four types of conditionals. Zero, first, second and third. Let's take a look at them together. Zero conditional, also called factual conditional, is used to talk about facts with scientific evidence, like if you hit an ice cube, it melts. Or like when Rapunzel's film Rider says, if she's here, it's clear clear. I'm where I'm meant to go. A fact, scientific evidence. We use zero conditional too to talk about things that are generally true, like if you drink a lot of beer, you get drunk. Or to talk about something that always happens, like, if I eat cauliflower, I fart a lot. As you see, the structure is if present simple, then present simple. Just remember that you can always change the order of the clauses and say the if clause in the second place. Like, water boils if you hit it to 100 degrees. First conditional is the one we use to talk about a possible situation in the future, to predict a likely result in the future, as long as the condition happens first. Look at the following examples. Moana sings, If the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know how far I'll go. Here again, you can change the order of the clauses, like Rapunzel does. And I'll reread the books if I have time to spare. Notice the structure of the first conditional. The if clause is always followed by present simple, while the result clause usually has will, although it could also use some models or even an imperative. Zazu says, if this is where the monarchy is headed, count me out. If you don't think, then you shouldn't talk, says March Hare from Alice in Wonderland. The second conditional is the one we use to talk about unreal, hypothetical or unlikely situations now or in the future. Unlike the first conditional, these situations are not so probable, they're not quite real, they're, let's say, imaginary. Mulan says, now I see that if I were truly to be myself, I would break my family's heart. Or Sebastian. If everybody got somebody by the hand, maybe everyone could learn and understand. Or Ariel, what would I give if I could live out of these waters? Or Buzz Lightyear, Woody once risked his life to save me. I couldn't call myself a friend if I weren't willing to do the same. So, the structure of the second conditional is if past simple and then would, could, or might, bear infinitive. Within the second conditional, there's a structure that we use to give advice, that is, if I were you, which is, if I were in your shoes, as in, if I were you, I'd turn on my camera during online lessons. Seriously, your teacher feels so lonely when all your cameras are off. Watch out here, because we say if I were, and not if I was, and the same goes for he, she, or it. You've probably heard Justin Bieber say if I was your boyfriend, but that's incorrect. JB, bad. Third conditional is used to talk about the past, about regrets, or when we imagine how things could have been different. Beast told Belle. If you hadn't run away, none of this would have happened. But as you did run away, I was attacked by the wolves. And Belle replied, If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. But as you did 
frightened and threatened me, I had to run away and screw it up. You see, they're talking about how things could have been different if they had made other choices. But now what's done is done. The structure is a tiny bit more complex here. The if clause has past perfect and the result clause would have past participle. Again, you can also use other models like could, should, might, instead of would. Okay, so that was it for conditional sentences. Keep an eye out for the next videos where we'll deal with wishes and regrets and also other conditional linkers instead of if. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope this video helped you remember what you already knew about conditionals and I hope you're hungry for more grammar. See you guys soon.